In this video, we will discuss the summary of Salman Rushdie's The Free Radio. For critical analysis, visit the blog. Now let's start. Ramani is a handsome young rickshaw driver who has inherited his profession from his father. The narrator, a retired school teacher, had a good relationship with his parents. Therefore, after their demise, the narrator becomes Ramani's guardian. The narrator knows Ramani is a naive young man. Therefore, he keeps an eye on him. The narrator observes that Ramani falls in love with a widow. He also notices that Ramani drinks illegal liquor with his friends in the back of Irani's canteen. His rowdy friends belong to the new youth movement. The narrator does not like them. Therefore, he advises Ramani to keep himself away from such harmful company, but he ignores the narrator's advice. The narrator also tries to do his best to keep him away from the widow. One day, he asks her to forget Ramani, but it is no use. Later, they get married. During the time, the local health officer has brought a big white caravan and perched under the banyan tree. The youths with armbands always guard the caravan and they take men into the caravan every night. After the marriage, the narrator meets Ramani and asks him if he has gone to the caravan. Ramani tells him that sterilization has made it possible to marry a woman. The narrator is astonished to hear this from Ramani and becomes angry. Ramani also informs him that he will soon receive a free radio from the government because he supports the government's campaign. The narrator can't bear his words anymore and asks him to leave the place. Soon after the meeting, Ramani tells everyone in the town that he will soon receive a personalized gift, a free radio from the central government. He puts one hand up to his ear as if he were already holding the radio in it and mimics the radio broadcasting with full enthusiasm. This is all in the radio. Here is the news. A government spokesman today announced that Ramani Rixa Wallace radio was on its way and would be delivered at any moment. And now some playback music. Ramani is lost in his reverie, and one year passes in the blink of an eye. The white caravan returns to the town after a break. He goes there with his wife to ask for his gift. After a short time, sounds of disagreement are heard in the caravan. They beat him up in the heat of the moment. Consequently, Ramani no longer puts his hand up to his ear. After a few days, Ramani sells his rickshaw. He tells the narrator that he is leaving for Bombay along with his family. He is going to Bombay to be a bigger film star than Sasi Kapoor or Amitabh Bachchan. After a few months, the narrator receives letters from Ramani which are filled with stories about his prosperous career in Bombay.